Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So we'll be dealing with the polymer chemistry, and uh, our today's topic will be addition polymerization. So you can see here, addition polymerization. So addition polymerization is basically the polymerization which actually takes place with the help of an initiator. So that initiator is a chemical species. It can be either a cation or a nine or a free radical. So based on which type of initiator you use, it, it's called as a cationic polymerization. So this will be called as a nine polymerization. So this will be called as a free radical polymerization. So today's in this small video lecture, we'll be dealing with the cationic polymerization. So we'll be dealing with the cationic polymerization. So dealing with the cationic polymerization. So we we'll write it down here cationic polymerization. Cationic polymerization. Cationic polymerization. <coughs> so the cationic polarization we will be trying to make it brief as much as possible. So cationic polymerization. So you have to remember that the that here in this case the growing chain end bears a positive charge. So in the cationic polymerization, the end of the chain, the chain end, the chain end, it bears a positive charge. The chain end bears a positive charge. So in the cationic polymerization, the chain end bears a positive charge. Now, as uh, I mentioned earlier, since this polymerization is initiated by a uh, cation, so that cation, it is usually H positive. So that cation is usually H positive. So that you talk about the initiator. Initiator. So that is H positive. And that positive H positive can be generated from from either it can be generated from either protic acids protic acids like sulfuric acid HCl and we can write and so on so that H positive can be generated from these acids by simple ionization or you can see the dissociation sort of a process or that H positive can be generated from Lewis acidus so it can be generated from Lewis acidus like BF3 or ELCL3 extra so how they generate this so they generate this in the presence of water for example we'll take an example here <coughs> BF3 combine this with water and it forms BF3 OH negative plus H positive. You can simply know we know it has a vacant orbital. This so this oxygen gets here and then it leaves a proton from here. So it results in the form H positive. So you can see here from that we have generation of initiator H positive. And same is the case here, we have H positive. So the initiators can be either Lewis acids or it can be simply the protic acids.
so after that so we'll uh, talk about the mechanism of addition polymerization so the mechanism of this uh, cationic polymerization rather So we will talk about the mechanism of cationic polymerization. Mechanism. The mechanism of cationic polymerization. So it occurs in three steps. Chain initiation. So it has three steps. Fine. So we will start here step number one. Step number one chain insertion. Chain insertion. Chain insertion. Step number one. So the chain insertion in the chain insertion, two things will occur. Number one. We have generation of a uh, generation of H positive, that is generation of a proton. So if we if we are using this acid, then the generation of proton will occur in this process. Very simple. H2S generation occurs in this way. So you are like this. So it's positive and if you are using the Lewis acid catalyst then in presence of water we have generation of proton that we have already discussed so now let's take the example we are using sulfuric acid type so we have proton generator here so the chain incision step we have the generation of a proton and then that proton it adds to the polymeric double bond so it it adds to polymeric double bond. It adds to the polymer. You can see like this. It adds to the polymer. So I can show it like here this. So this H positive. It H positive adds to the polymer. Let us take our polymer is uh, like this type of polymer. CH2 double bond. See, and there can be some R groups. Fine. So there can be some R groups. So it adds in this fashion here. And then it forms CH2 H that is CH3 rather. And then you have C R R. Now we can clearly see that in this step we have generation of a cation. You can see clearly here that in this step, the chain insertion step, we have generation of a cation here. So that's why this is called as a cationic polymerization. So this is the step number one called chain insertion. So now we have the the active monomer here. And then we have chain propagation step. So the chain propagation step will show it here. I will show it here. So we have chain propagation. Chain propagation. So in this case, what happens? This cation, now this cation, which was generated in the step number one, it adds to the the monomers. Fine. So the addition occurs in this fashion we have so we have a CH3 CH3 R R then this plus CH2 C R R. So, 
Sweet forms. This reaction forms CH3. So now we have the cation here. So this way it propagates. You could clearly see. So this is a chain propagation. So this way the chain grows by successive addition of monomers, leaving a positive at the end. Fine. So this is the chain propagation. And then the final step that is chain termination. So chain termination, I will show it here, the chain termination. Rather than rubbing it, I will go with the chain termination here, third step. Chain termination. So in the chain termination, so what actually happens here? The now what what we have to do is we have actually let the chain to stop its growth. So that can be done by. <coughs> So the chain uh, termination can be done by a step we can call it as a the chain transfer. So you can do it by some mechanism called as a chain transfer mechanism. So or it can be done by the trace addition of water. So if we add the trace addition of water, so the chain termination can be done by trace addition of water trace addition of water water so if you add the chain the trace addition of water what it does is that that OH it adds to this plus it adds to this cationic site so we take this cationic site so we have CH3 CRR CH2 and then CRR so the OH comes here the H of that goes to acid so in this way the chain gets terminated since we don't have any positive side now so the chain gets terminated here this is number one this is the process number one the second one we can do is that <coughs> We can, as, as I mentioned earlier, the chain, this can be uh, terminated or this growth can be blocked by a chain transfer mechanism. So the chain transfer process is, uh, so what we do in that chain transfer process is that, uh, so we can show it here, the chain transfer. So the chain transfer, so the termination via the chain transfer, I can show it by here. So for that I will take the example, let us say our growing polymer chain is this one. So this is our growing polymer chain. So we have something like uh, here. So let us show it like this. So chain transfer. Fine. So I'm showing it this way now. So now if you, if you can move to this step, you're going to back to this step. So in this case, what happens is that you have CH2 and then you have C R R. So you have a plus here, fine. Now in this case, and then uh, <clears throat> so, so in this case what happens from the uh, you know it can transfer a proton from here 
she can transfer a proton from here and then this gets stabilized and it leaves plus here so it leaves here H plus now you can see now this one it is no more this one rather it is it is rather like this so this proton gets transferred to the so it becomes like this now this polymer has not an active site now it don't has a plus it has nowhere a plus site where actually it can further undergo the chain propagation so this will get trans terminated so this proton from here you know it gets released and it in turn forms a double bond so the chain gets terminated this is another way where the chain uh, termination can occur so this is called as chain transfer it's called transfer It's called as chain transfer process. So it's called chain transfer since the proton is here released. It can add to a different monomer and that monomer can itself lead to the chain propagation. So but then what has happened that in this chain the propagation has got blocked. So it's called chain transfer mechanism. So this is in brief the addition polymerization. Uh, the, the type of addition polymerization called as a cationic polymerization. So the type of addition polymerization called a cationic polymerization. It's called cationic due to the reason that a cation, that the, the initiator is actually a cation that can be a, a protic acid or that can be the Lewis acid. So the in both the cases, whether it's a protic acid or Lewis acid, they generate a proton and that proton adds to the monomer in the, in the chain initiation process it forms a cation now that cation then attacks the next monomer and it in this way the chain propagates and the chain termination we can do that by either addition of trace amount of water to form this type of a species there's no more a plus charge so there's no more propagation or it can occur through a transfer mechanism where we have a double bond formation and the proton which is released can go to the different monomer and it can initiate the polymerization there but in this case the polymerization gets blocked so this is um, all about the the basics of the chain the, the cationic polymerization process so in case you have a question we can also discuss it later so for today this is tomorrow and if in case you have any type of confusion you can actually you can actually contact me through this process that is here gmail.com you can write me here and you can also write here it's a dot wave at the rate of redifmail.com and you can call here So you can write down three numbers and this is the slide once again if you have some confusion you can actually use this but this is all about we have from here so alhamdulillah this is all about